Well, as we learn more about the victims and heroes of Dumas, one story is standing out. Yeah, it's a story of a boy already used to beating the odds who's coming out stronger than ever. Katrin Asaf is live at the scene with a story of Zaylin. Katrin. Well, Zaylin is a 10-year-old boy who has Down syndrome. His mom told me that that night he actually had to be convinced to go to the neighborhood picnic as he doesn't really like leaving the house. But what no one would know is how quickly that night would change and how strong Zaylin would be through it all. It's one of his favorite things to do, and not even something like a bullet hole will stop 10-year-old Zaylin from showing off his stuff. He loved music. He liked the dance. Kanisha Grandy took this video of her son's Sunday at an event held to celebrate Down syndrome thrown in Zaylin's honor. His name is Zaylin, so we call it the Zaywall. It was just a few hours after 27 people were shot at a popular neighborhood festival, a celebration held after an unspeakable tragedy. We need it something to uplift us and they're really like uplifting me to see my baby up moving. Not an easy thing to do with a leg wrapped up, but Zaylin manages. It happened so fast we weren't there nothing but 30 minutes. Zaylin and his grandmother were two of those 27 victims caught in the crossfire when an argument led to a gunfight. We was talking to someone and all I know we just heard shots so we just got to the ground. The bullet went through his leg, a nightmare come to life for any kid. <laughs> Now back home and surrounded by laughter. It's hard to imagine this calm child had just been through the unthinkable. But his quiet strength is rubbing off. The inspiration of family needs to heal. He was calm. He was just sitting there. I couldn't even cry because I'm like, my baby's strong. And today is a fitting day to tell Zaylin's story because it is World Down Syndrome Day. So they are celebrating today. And just to illustrate how brave this little boy was in the midst of all of this, his mom told me when he got to the hospital, he could only ask about his granny, who, remember, was also brought to the hospital with him. He was more concerned about her than he was about himself. Reporting in Dumas, Katrin Asaf, back to you. Mm.